deliver us, my Lord, deliver us. Deliver us, my Lord, deliver us. Oh, 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 Victory, 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 we have. He will deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Ale. Oh, my special love and healing ministry tribe. When I think of how mighty, powerful, and ever ready my God is to deliver me, deliver us, and fight our battles he the lion of the tribe of judah my god i'm just so excited i'm like who wants to try me <laughs> i hope everyone is doing well right um today has been a real full emotional and happy day for me right so i'm so grateful father thank you so much for everything in the mighty name of jesus our evening devotion is taken from jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21 I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you from the grabs of the violent. Hmm, what a precious promise. Hey, very precious. Notice the glorious person of the promise. I will, I will. The Lord himself intervenes to deliver and redeem his people. Aren't we so blessed? He pledges himself personally to rescue them. His own arm will do it so that he will have the glory. There is not a word said here of any effort of our own that will be needed to assist the Lord. No, how can we help him? Hey. Neither our strength, not by might, not by power, nor our weakness is taken into our into account. Hmm. But only the lone eye of God, as the sun in the heavens shines out, as the sun in the heavens shines out magnificently in all sufficiency. Why then do we calculate our forces and consult with flesh and blood to our own detriment and harm? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So all that wasting time to do all that calculation, dynamic, gymnastics, planning, planning, strategizing, sometimes, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha, You see how the words of Jericho fell? What human strategy could work that out? God has enough power without borrowing from our puny arms. Be silent, you unbelieving thoughts. Be still and know that the Lord the Lord reigns. There is not a hint about secondary means and causes. The Lord says nothing about friends and helpers. He understands, he undertakes the work alone, and he feels no need of human arms to help him. We look in vain to companions and relatives. They are broken reeds if we lean upon them. They are often unwilling when able or unable when they are willing. <laughs> since the promise comes from God from God alone it will be good to wait only upon him when we do so our expectation never fails us who are the wicked that we should fear them the Lord will utterly remove them Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 3 they are to be pitied rather than feared as for cruel ones they are only terrors to those who have no God to run to for when the Lord is on our side, whom shall we fear? Ah, Psalm 118 verse 6. If we run into sin to please the wicked, we have reason to be afraid. But if we hold fast to our integrity, the rage of tyrants will be overruled for our good. When the fish swallowed Jonah, he found him to be a morsel that he could not digest. And when the world devours the church, it is glad to be rid of it again. In all times of fiery trial, let us maintain our soul in patience. Because victory is ours. The Lord delivers. He said it and he will do it. Amen. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. God bless us all.